what are those jobs? You can look at 150 of them and kind of make your head spin. So we, we took and tried to categorize them in 17 or 18 categories. Basically, of all the jobs that come, about 17% are heavy equipment, 20% are general labor, 10% CDL, 20% are general office. These people need computer people, they need HR people, they need secretaries, they need, I mean, you name it, just like a lot of the businesses do. So, um, and we've seen all of these, requests for all of these. Welders make up about 3%, and if you had x-ray, welder x-ray technicians and welder helpers, that number gets to be a 4 or 5% of the workforce. So you can kind of take a look, if they have lawyers in the room, 4% of the workforce are lawyers. The lawyers are having a heyday, okay. Uh, it's all the way from title searches to disputes between families on who owns mineral rights to you name it, okay? Um, so that's how the workforce is, is distributed. So a lot of times we get people walking our office at Penn College and say, I don't want a job in the natural gas industry. Well, really? Which one of the 150 jobs would you are you most interested in? Because most people don't realize that that's the breadth of what it takes. So from a Penn College perspective, and I'll get to this in a future slide, but we basically said, what programs do we need to put in place? Well, for those of you that are familiar with Penn College, uh, we already have diesel mechanics, heavy equipment, civil engineering, surveying, you know, computer technicians. We, we had most, most of the programs here. All right? So on the credit side, two-year degrees, associate degrees, bachelor degrees, we didn't have to do much. Okay? On the non-credit side, short-term training to take unemployed folks and give them basic skill certifications so that they can get an entry-level job, we did have to put programs in, okay, and we did. And that, they're the ones that we've trained, you know, a large number of people and have had a great deal of success placing people in entry-level jobs and getting them off the unemployment rolls, okay? 